What's up everybody? So today I'm going to show you another shelf. It's going to be that one up there. I'll start off at the top where my collection starts, I guess. So what I'm going to show you is this shelf. Got a her not to be taken, some Albridges, Rydell's, a military bottle, some John T. Coates. It's my big head in the background. Some Frank Rogers. So I'll show you all of them. All right. So first up on the list is my, uh, error not to be taken bottle as you can see the N is backwards on it it's a two ounce it actually has some pretty nice swirls in it it's hard to see with the the lighting I have right now but there's actually some pretty nice swirls in this it's a pretty common bottle but not with the ends backwards, so. And that's my first one. All right, so the next one on my shelf is gonna be a uh, KH21. It's an Owlbridge Embrocation. So what, uh, I think this one actually has says hull on it also. Owlbridge, Owlbridge's Embrocation hull. What uh, Embrocation was, was like a liquid that you would put on like a sprain or a strain and it's supposed to relieve it. So it's a couple different variants in this bottle. Um, I'll show you a second one I have that's a different variant, but uh, this one, like I said, is the cage 21. So it basically has a three, three panels embossed with the lettering. Just one panel in the back has ribs and then two plain. Not sure what size that is, probably three ounce, four ounce maybe. But it's a nice one. All right, so here's another one of the Owl Bridges. This is a cage 22. So this one has Owl Bridge and then a ribbed panel and Dennis's embrocation. Then the three back panels have, are plain for the label. The other one, I don't know how to put a label on there, but I had to put it over the uh, name or the uh, ribbing, so. These are nice. Like I said, there's a couple other variants of this one that I know of, at least one other one with different embossing, so. But that's Cage 22. All right, next up is this little not to be taken. This looks like it's a fake. It looks like it was uh, like some Etsy thing or something like that. Somebody made a mold of uh, the normal bottle and then glazed it or whatever they did down. Not up on my pottery, but I'm kind of thinking this is a fake, but it's pretty cool looking, so I keep it with my collection. All right, so next up is a cage one. This is a uh, British military bottle. They say anything with those, with that uh, arrow pointing up is used by the British military. So it's this P-O-I-S-O-N and then with the arrow. Uh, there's different variants of this. Sometimes it's underneath the embossing. Back three sides are embossed with the, the ribs. It's a one ounce. Pretty crude. To blow in a mold bottle. You can see the seam stops just under the lip with a tooled square lip. But it's a bunch of different sizes of these. Everybody likes these. Some of them go for a nice little penny too. But they have a cage one. Next up, the Rydell. So I have a couple different sizes of this bottle, not many, but like three or four different sizes. Maybe I'll show you them at the end of the video, but uh, this is listed as a cage 52. Pretty much it says Rydell with the uh, front three kind of have ribs with it. And then the back are playing for the label. Again, it's a blown bottle. I like the uh, I like the hexagon bottles with uh, different sayings. So if I can afford them or they're cheap enough, I'll buy them. So there's a KH52. So here's an Osterlich 
I'm fine. No, I'm not saying that right. But anyway, it's Bulgarian. So uh, in English, it translates it translates to external. So obviously, to be externally taken, not consumed. So I have a couple different variants of this bottle. Also, um, this it lists this is a it's listed as a cage fifty. So again, the front three are ribbed with the name, with the embossing, and then the back three are plain. This is 125 ml. It's got a little bit of a green tint to it. Again, blown. But maybe I'll also I have a couple of different ones of those. I have one that's full. Has a good part of its uh, contents list with a label and but uh, it kind of smells, but I'll show you the next one on my shelf. Right, so here's another one. This one, it's spelled a little different. This one says A-E-U, -A -A -E and this one is just A-U. So I don't know what the difference is. This one, I don't know what uh, coon listing it is, but it's a little different. Like I said, the, the, the spelling's a little different. There's no ribs on the front and boss panel. The back three are uh, plain like that one, but and this is a 20 ml. But I just thought I'd show you the difference in the two. Between that one and the one I just showed you. Again, they're Bulgarian bottles from Bulgaria. All right, so this one wasn't on my shelf that I was supposed to be showing, but I wanted to show you this because I showed you the other ones. So this one says uh, also which, and then also says usage external. So it has Bulgarian and the English translation. So you can see there's fluid still in there. Still has the wax uh, seal, wax paper, not the seal, but the wax paper and cork and then the actual label. So it's another different variant, but thought I'd show you since uh, I was showing you the other ones. All right, next up is a cage 71. These are John T. Coates uh, chemist bottles. And uh, I believe this is a two ounce, it's a one and two ounce. Um, it's not that easy to find. I like them. I've seen a couple sell uh, recently in an Australian auction and uh, amber ones, and they were selling for a nice little penny, but hexagon. This one's seen better days. Looks like it was in the ground getting eaten up or something. Fire, who knows what. That one's in a rough shape. I think I bought both of these for 15 bucks years and years ago. So, I had that one, and this one's in nice shape. Much cleaner. The usual three back panels for the label are not embossed. Both are blown. Those I like. All right, so this one's a cage six. Uh, this one has the embossing on the shoulder. It says poisonous. Some say poison, but this one says poisonous. A nice green it's a different color green it's like a yellow green if you see it in person but it's also one ounce but that's a cage six they say it's rare in a book i mean i guess you see these but i don't know in the book it says rare so all right next up is a frank rogers kh 68 so i got a bunch of these in the uh, rectangle uh, bottles. This is the only one I have in a hexagon. It's the only one I've ever seen in a hexagon is this size and this, you know, like this variant. I said the uh, rectangle ones, I think I have like four or five different sizes. There's a one ounce. The usual. Three plain. So, if you keep watching. Sooner or later, I'll show you my square ones, my rectangle ones. Are, uh, that's a nice shelf full of uh, different chemists with squares. So that's, that'll be a nice shelf when I show them. This is a little boring because this is the top shelf. Like a, It's a small and like a four inch shelf. So I ain't got much room to really put any bottles. So the next shelves as they go, they'll be a little nicer. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, show other people if you like poison bottles. All right, last one on my shelf is this little KH28. It's only 
three back panels are ribbed, right? And it says not to be taken. I don't know if the camera picks that up that good, but. So these are kind of hard to find, these little guys. I don't even know what size this is. It's tiny. Maybe a two dram or something. I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what it is, but it's a little guy, tiny little guy. All right, so that's it. It's the last one on my shelf. So maybe, like I said, I'll show you the Rydell next, just to, just cause. All right, so here's the different Rydell bottles I have. This is the 100 ml. This is 10 centiliters on the bottom. That's the one I showed you already that was on the, the shelf that I was showing you guys. Then this guy doesn't have a size on it. Embossing is a little different on this. You can see that the, there's no uh, ribs above the Rydell name. Or that one has it. Then I got this little guy. Also don't see anything on the base of size, but it's a little guy. And then I got this screw top with a label. Try to read that on camera. It's too far away. My eyes are shot. Yeah, you can see it better like that. All right. So that was my next shelf. Stay tuned for the next one. So the next video is going to be on some really nice skull bottles. So stay tuned. Peace.